With episode Gladiolus arriving next week, it's the perfect time to give a complete overview of everything it will bring to the table, if indeed you actually plan on purchasing the first major piece of downloadable content for Final Fantasy XV. If not, well, it will still be interesting for you, so make sure you watch anyway. Be warned though, if you aren't at least halfway through the main campaign of Final Fantasy XV, there will be some spoilers in this video, as we won't just be discussing the gameplay and new modes, we'll also be talking about the story of the DLC episode, detailing exactly why Gladiolus decides to leave the group. Before we get onto that though, let's kick things off with the basic information. Episode Gladiolus will release on the 28th of March 2017 and it will be available on the PlayStation Store and Xbox Store as a separate item or as part of the Season Pass if you've already purchased it. As the name of the DLC suggests, you will play as Gladiolus throughout, as opposed to Noctis of course who you played as in the main campaign. Gladiolus will be joined by Cor Leonis, one of the Crown's Guard, as an ally throughout its duration and also as his mentor. The setup for this piece of DLC is that following the group's encounter with Ravis Nox throughout at the Imperial base, where of course they're trying to get back the Regalia, Gladiolus starts to feel basically inadequate as Noctis' shield. Ravis swatted him aside with such ease and it made him realise the limitations of his own power. He therefore realises that he must possess a comparable level of skill and power to Noctis in order to be able to protect him and he therefore looks to challenge himself. This sees him up and leave Noctis' side to undertake the trial of Gilgamesh with Kor, the only man alive known to have survived the trial. In its build up, much has been made about the gameplay of Episode Gladiolus. In the main story, Noctis was of course the only person you could play as, so they had to accommodate for the fact that Gladiolus doesn't have the same skill sets. They therefore redesigned the combat to make it much more about blocking and counterattacking, with a new Valor and Rage system, which sees Gladiolus dealing more damage by tanking successfully. By completing the DLC campaign, which is only said to last around 2-3 hours, you will be able to obtain special items that cannot be acquired in the main game. These, like the Dream Egg from the Moogle Chocobo Carnival event, will be carried over, However, it still hasn't yet been announced what these items will be, or what they'll do. It also hasn't yet been confirmed whether the multiple endings that Hajime Tabata spoke about previously will be featured within Episode Gladiolus. If they are present, this could be exactly how you obtain some of the other special items. Anyway, in addition to the unique gameplay and the short campaign and the items, Episode Gladiolus will also be offering two additional gameplay modes, Score Attack and Final Trial. These become available once you complete the episode, and are said to offer much more of a challenge should you wish to replay it. On a personal note, even if the premise of episode Gladiolus is a bit ropey and it's going to be pretty short, the actual Trial of Gilgamesh dungeon looks pretty cool. From a visual perspective, it's impressive, and there are some pretty cool enemies that you'll be squaring off against, like this guy, and of course, the legendary figure himself, Gilgamesh. Keiichi Okabe, who many of you hopefully now know as one of the geniuses behind the Nier soundtrack and the Dragon Guard 3 soundtrack, was also selected to rearrange Clash on the Big Bridge. It's a nice crossover with Nier Automata, which you guys should definitely check out if you haven't already. So, how many of you guys are actually planning on picking up Episode Gladiolus when it releases? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. If you'd like to support our channel and help us grow, please head over to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash ffunion. These awesome folks have already done so, so why not join them? Thanks for watching guys, this is Daryl signing out. I will see you next time.